everybody it's Doreen and I'm back today with a Father's Day card now this is going to be Father's Day card number one I'm actually going to be making just two this year uh, Father's Day snuck up on me again and I think it's because I have so many birthdays and anniversary cards that I have to do in the month of June Father's Day kind of slips past me so I only needed to do a couple this year now I want to apologize ahead of time about how I'm putting this card together because this card did not come with any instructions and I thought when I cut it out it was going to be a simple card to put together but I did find that I ended up having to do my own thing so if you're gonna make this card you can follow the steps that I did or if you think you know how to put it together you can go ahead you would think it would be simple and easy but I think I made it complicated for myself so what does our card look like for today this is the card that we will be making and it is in the shape of a toolbox so come on and join me and I'm gonna show you how I put this card together okay everybody so let's go ahead and bring up the supplies so we can get started with the first Father's Day card that I'm going to be doing so this is a silhouette file. Let me make sure because we have some we have some very tiny pieces with this one, just so you know. And um, I'll put the item number up here in the video and also down below in the description box. So the cardstock that I'm using for this one is some of the Recollections metallic cardstock. And we're just going to go ahead and start folding in our pieces. So the, our card basically is going to fold like this. So first thing I want to do is go ahead and add my inside sentiment, which I'm going to have right here. Now what I want to do also is ink my edges. So I'm going to do that real quick and then I'll come back. Okay everybody, so I am back with all of my edges inked for everything that I wanted to ink on the edges. And I'm going to go ahead and add my inside sentiment to the card. So we'll just get some tape on here and we'll add this. So what I inked my edges with was the Stampin' Up um, Going Gray. It's what I used. So we'll just go ahead and get this inside here. Make sure we're doing this right. Almost put that on the wrong side. I want that to go inside here. Like so. So let me make sure I get this where I want it. And I did use the print and cut again for this portion of my card. So it folds down like that. I'm sorry if I was out of camera frame there. So it folds like so. So now let's go ahead and add the rest of our pieces. Now you could, if you want, put your inside sentiment here as well. You didn't have to put it where I put it, but I'm just going to leave it there. And we'll add our next layer, which is going to go on here, like so. So we'll get some tape on this. And we'll add this layer. And then we'll be moving on to the next one. So we'll open this out. And add this layer and I did use the going gray for my edges with this too so then we'll go ahead and start adding our next layer so this one as well is a quick simple and fast one now I just want to make sure we are doing this right because you do have a piece that fits within here it fits like that and then this one goes on top of here so this piece this small piece that you have right here looks like that you're gonna put that right at the edge of here so about right there so you'll fold this over and then put that piece on Or, let me make sure that's right. I think. 
there were no instructions with this one either so bear with me I'm guessing on this because our handle goes up here like so and we'll have this on top and then this will fold over I'm going to have to look at this because, like I said, this one didn't have any instructions with this. So I need to go back and refer to the um, photograph because I think I did put this on wrong. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. So I'm back and I'm not quite sure which way this card is supposed to go together. So I am going to do it the way I want to do it. And... You can try putting it together the way you think it should go together, but as I said, there were no instructions, so I'm just taking a wild guess. And so what I've done is I've taken that top piece and I stamped out Happy Father's Day. And it's kind of faint, so you may not be able to see it. It's using the going gray by stamping up. And then I took a piece of black, that black strip, and put that on the bottom of that one piece that's right here. And then I just put tape partially on the back of that, and I'm adding that to this piece of the card. Now, whether that's the right way to do it, I'm not sure. So, this one is going to be an experiment. So then, you can go ahead and take and put your handle up here, like so. And then what I think I will do is I'll probably put some foam tape on the on that to have that kind of sit up and prop up. So it looks like that. So now let's put the other piece on. We're going to put our dad piece on. And that is going to go right here. And I did stamp that also very faintly with the going gray. And I'm going to go ahead and just use the two-way zig pen to get some tape on here. So I'm going to just pull up the scrap sheet of paper real quick and we'll add some glue all the way around. If you have a Xyron machine, you can run it through your Xyron machine, but I'm just going to put some glue with a two-way zig pin on there. And then we'll add that. Sometimes with some of the cards on the Silhouette site, they don't give you any instructions and they are sometimes self-explanatory. But other times they're not, so you have to just kind of use your own judgment. So I'm just going to grab my tweezers here so I can just line this up and get it right where I want it. And I'm going to place it right down here. And then I'm going to just press down. So then the last thing we'll do is the other pieces we have is like are supposed to be the openings for your toolbox because that's what this is supposed to be so what I'm gonna do so that they'll be open or he'll be able to open the card is I'm not gonna tape this down like so I'm going to tape this just up at the top here but before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and put my other pieces that go on here so now these are some very tiny pieces as I said earlier so it is a little bit of paper piecing, but not a lot. But they are extremely tiny. So what I'm doing is I'm using my tweezers to hold this while I get the glue on there. And then I'm going to take my tweezers to line up where I want or where that piece should go. And then I'll just press down. And then we'll go ahead and we'll do the other one as soon as I can find it. I thought I had lost it. And we'll add our other little piece here. So all in all, it is a very cute card. It's just kind of um, because there's no instructions. I'm going to get the glue going here. Oh, 
have to make sure we put the cap back on so it doesn't dry out. And then we'll add this one as well. And I'll kind of line it up and get it in the middle here as much as I can. And then I'm going to press that one down. And I think with my other one, I did put it on the wrong side because I inked the other side. So I just pulled that up real quick and I get some glue on the right side that it should be on. And I'm going to add this one. Because I did ink the edges on this little piece here. So I do want those to show up. And it's now trying to stick to my finger. So i got to get that off of there. So just bear with me for a moment. And there we have it. So now, there are some more pieces to this. And they are these little tiny dots. And they look like that. I don't know if you can, the camera's going to get that. But, come on, focus. Okay, so it's very, very tiny to see. So those go one on each side of here. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to see if we can get these little tiny pieces on here. Now if you don't want to put these on here, you don't have to. If you want, you can go ahead and use the glitter pen or something else. So I'm going to go ahead and get these on here. And then I'll come back and we'll finish up the card. Okay, everybody, so I just decided to come back with the finished card, but um, this one, I don't know about this one. <laughs> and I'm only saying that because I don't know if I put this together the way it was supposed to be put together, so I kind of did my own thing. And this is what I ended up doing. So I did get my two little um, pieces right here on, and... Be very careful when you're cutting these. These are extremely tiny, so you may have to, if you don't want to use these, you can put something else there in its place. And I actually lost one and had to kind of do my own thing to catch up with it. It was something like it was telling me that I need to just start over and pick a different card, but I wanted to finish this one. So I did go ahead and add a few candies right here. In the circle with I have the word dad now for the closing for some reason I just could not get this to stay flat and stay closed and I don't know if that reason why is because like I said I didn't put it together right but I ended up having to take velcro and put that in there like so in order for it to stay closed so Luckily, I had some Velcro that I bought several years ago, and it's little pieces that are flat like this, and then here's the other piece, and I just took and cut that in half and put that at the top of the card right there. I put one piece there and one piece there so that it would at least stay closed because otherwise it kept flapping open and I didn't like that look. So, and then I went ahead, for those of you who don't have a We Are Memory Keeper envelope punch board, either the, the regular one or the 123 punch board, I just took a pre-made envelope and I stamped out Happy Father's Day in the Stampin' Up! Going Gray. So that's it, everybody. This is my um, Father's Day card that I've made for my father-in-law. And this one was supposed to be a simple one, but... It ended up, I had to do my own little thing. So thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.